Conclusion. Tips to start today. Congratulations on making it to the end of this intro guide on the paleo diet. You may be surprised to know that the majority of people who start something never complete it. If you've made it this far, you're definitely interested in the paleo way of eating and all the benefits it has to offer. The best thing you can do is to get clearance from your doctor and get started on a paleo program. Take your time and progress at your own pace. This is not a race. The more you do it, the better you will get at doing it and the healthier you will become. It's all a matter of time and practice. In this last part, we will look at practical steps to start a paleo lifestyle starting today. Understand the basic do's and don'ts of what to eat and not eat. Do eat nuts, vegetables, fruit, eggs, organic and grass-fed meats, healthy oils like coconut, avocado, olive, etc., and seafood and fish. Don't eat processed foods, dairy like butter, yogurt, cheese, and milk, cereal grains, legumes like beans and peas, peanuts and peanut butter, refined sugar, potatoes, refined vegetable oils, candy, artificial sweeteners, and starchy vegetables like potatoes, yams, etc. Plan on a lifestyle change, not a temporary thing. Lasting results happen when you stick to something permanently. That doesn't mean that every now and then you won't find yourself having a cup of milk with an Oreo. But going into a diet change with the mindset that changes are permanent and long-lasting is a key to success. Remember that this is not a race. It may take a while to remember what foods to incorporate and what foods to give up. Do a sweep of your kitchen. Let's face it, the box of cookies in your cupboard clearly won't fly within the world of paleo. But if they're there, you'll likely eat them. Same goes for the butter, the peanuts, and the potatoes. In order to avoid temptations every time you open the cabinet door, you're going to have to toss some of that stuff. Give it to a neighbor, a friend, or the local food bank. Make sure you understand your reasoning. Oftentimes, we hear about a new diet or exercise and we get stoked. We just want to dive right in because, man, that sounds awesome. But in order to keep our motivation up for the long haul, it's important to understand why you're choosing to start something. Are you diving into paleo because your friend did it, because you want to feel better, or because you want to lose weight? Whatever your reasoning may be, make sure it's one you truly believe in. Practice forgiveness. Aside from the fact that this is just an awesome overall rule of life, it reminds us that we aren't perfect. Every now and then, we may want a treat, read something that doesn't fall on the eat list for paleo. Some people allow themselves treats every now and then. Some do so on a scheduled basis, and others as life tosses things their way. Regardless, don't beat yourself up for slipping up. We're all human, after all. Do your homework. If you're a restaurant junkie and are weeping at the mere thought of giving up your Friday night fun, hang on a minute. Revisit the menus of places you frequent and see how you can make the food selections fit the paleo requirements. Or, if there's a dish you just can't live without, plan to have your cheat at the restaurant that serves it. Making the choice to live a healthier life is awesome and admirable. Whether paleo ends up being the root for you or not. By eating the foods that our ancestors ate instead of filling our bellies with packaged everything, we can be sure we're heading down a path of healthier, happier lives. Quote, Let food be thy medicine, and medicine... Be thy food. Hippocrates. Thanks for listening. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.